Hi, Florette here today, and thank you for joining me. And today we're going to make this really adorable little mushroom toadstool box. And it's a real simple little box to go together. And this goes with our toadstool SVG kit. Um, this is the simple toadstool. So let's get started with this cute box that you can put, you know, little candies in, a little treat. Makes a great little centerpiece. You can lay it down flat like this. Or it stands up very nicely too. So it's a great little box. Um, I think it's great for jewelry too. So I'm just going to set that aside. And what we have, I've already cut the pieces here. And we, I embossed this overlay. And I was going to show you how to put that on. But I also gave this piece here a little curve to it. This is your side, your top piece here that goes around. So you're just going to take this overlay and glue it to the top of the outside edge of your toadstool. You just want to get enough glue on just to lay it on. And you're going to glue this right in the center between your two end tabs. Okay, like so. And flatten that out. Okay, once this piece, this overlay is glued down, you're going to take the bottom of your box and the top edge of your box and you're going to glue these two sides together but this piece is going to go on the inside not the outside so I'm going to add some glue right to this outside edge and I'm going to glue these two sides together and you'll know that it's that you've got it the right way because the tabs should both be on the top side okay so you're just going to glue these two pieces together like so and I can fold it to get a really nice seal Now once that's glued in place, this is where it's a little different from some of the other boxes. You're going to take your mushroom piece and this is actually going to go, sorry here, this piece here is going to go on this corner here on the outside. Okay, so I'm actually going to fold these this way. So now you've got a piece that looks something like this. Okay, and you're also going to fold all of these tabs down. And I'm going to start with this corner here and fold it so you, it looks something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and glue it right on this edge here. Like so. And I'm going to fold it down like this. And then you'll see the tabs should look something like this. And then you're just going to simply go around and glue all the tabs down around the outside of your box like so. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Once you get to the end, now that you're at the end here, you're just going to curve it around. You can see it fits in here. I'm going to fold this piece over like so, and I'm going to glue these pieces in place with the tabs down. Like so. So all our tabs are going to be on the top, but don't worry about that because we're going to cover all these tabs with the top liner. All right, and then I'm going to put a little glue on this one here on the inside, close it up to close up our box and hold it in place, let it dry and do our last tab here and fold that over. Now 
And once you get to this point, you might want to just give it a little bend just to straighten it all out because it is paper. And you can see it's perfect. Now we're just going to simply take our top piece and glue it on. Now you could glue your door and your window and your grass and all that on now if you like, but I sometimes like to put my box together first before I go ahead and do that. So I'm putting glue all over this thing so it sticks really nicely. And I'm just going to lay it on top of this here and hold it down in place like so. And I can use my hands just to make everything nice and even and shaped together. And then I might turn it over and push it down just so my glue is all adhered nicely. And then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. It goes exact together the exact same way as the bottom of the box. And you can see that's how they will fit together. So you do the same that we did for the top for the bottom. Exact same piece. This sides are just a little wider. That's how you can tell the difference. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put together our little chimney. Sometimes I like to wait and put the overlays on with the chimney. So you're going to go ahead and fold all these pieces so that I know for sure what's the top and what's the bottom before I put the overlays on. It might be a little less confusing. So you're just going to take, and it's really very simple, you're just going to take these two pieces and fold them in. And you've got two long tabs here. You're going to put a little glue on each one of those tabs and glue those down like so that's actually going to be the top of your chimney all right and then you're going to fold all these other little pieces down i'm holding those in place while it dries you can take your time with this i'm moving a little faster in the video than i would um, if i was making it just on my own so i'm going to put a little glue on all these little tabs here and the tab here which is going to close the whole thing together. So I'm just going to simply, once I've got these two long pieces glued down, I can simply tuck these other tabs inside like so, and just bending it around. And that's why you want to hold those down. Let's see here. I'm going to fold those in and then you're going to have this curved piece here. And then this piece is going to fold on the inside like so. And it all just kind of squeezes together like that. And there you have your little chimney. And you want to hold it in place just so it glues together. And you've got this nice curve which you're going to adhere to the outside of your mushroom. Okay. And that's why you might want to hold off putting your pieces on so that you know which piece goes where. Once this is all glued into place, you can see this is the top. I'm just going to add a little glue and pop this right in the center. Or you can put the glue on your little overlay pieces. Now you can see this here is a side, so I'm going to lay it down first. Okay, that's the way it goes. Now I embossed mine before I glued them together just to give it a little more pattern to it. Or you can use pattern papers. And you're going to just glue on all these little pieces like so. This is the longer piece. And then this is the other side right here. So cute, the little chimney. And then you've got one more little edge here for your last overlay. And now you've got this cute little chimney. And you can see on this one, it has like it's a little embossed because I did emboss it before um, adhering it on. And then you're just going to simply glue it on to the outside of your mushroom. Okay. Then you have all these nice little embellishments that you can put on. You can see with the door, you've got like this little piece here. And I just I left this off just so I could show you how I go about gluing something that's really tiny, like a little door like this, onto a little cutout. I Instead of just putting glue right on it, like in a line, I will just put some little dots, as small as I can get them. And if you get a little bit too much on there, just use your finger and wipe it off a little bit. And that is the 
way I will put on really tiny little pieces like so. Sorry for the dog barking there. And there you go. And you're just going to line that up like so. And you've got a little dot. If you want to use the little dot for your door, just put a little piece of glue and pop your little handle down onto your door like so. And you got a cute little door. And then you can do the same thing for the window. And then you've got all these cute little flowers and things. And you're just going to simply glue them right on to the outside of your box. You know, whichever way you like best. And you can run these through and, you know, with foil or anything like that. So to finish your box, you're just going to simply glue all these little pieces on. Like so. You've got little flowers. And it also comes with... Um, here I use some sequins to embellish it, but it also comes with the cutouts for the flowers. So if you just want to use paper, you can go ahead and do that too. And then I added a little ribbon to the outside edge. So that, you know, you can use your own creativity or creativity or do it exactly as I have here. So I hope you enjoyed making the little toadstool box, the simple box, and see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Happy crafting.